Hello, fellow gun enthusiasts and aficionados and revolverholics. Today we're looking at Smith & Wesson K38 Combat Masterpiece Revolvers. This first one here is actually a pre-Model 15. So it was born before 1957. 57 sure was a good year, wasn't it? That was the year that the best Gibson Les Paul was, was born. 1957. A badass Chevrolet. Nineteen fifty seven was born. And a Smith and Wesson combat masterpiece. They call this thing their masterpiece. This one had this is actually like I said, pre model fifteen. Doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a model number in there. It's got the diamond grips. Case hardened hammer and trigger. Has the combat hammer. The standard trigger. Pin barrel, of course. Diamond stocks. Insignia on the right hand side, nice and big. And it's got some honest wear. You know, it's an old gun. It's a classic groove trigger. This is a Model 15 7. It has been Cerakoted. Got the bull barrel, same barrel. Actually, barrels are identical. But this, I put these uh, nice G10 grips on here. This has a round butt. It's serrated though. But it still has the hammer nose on the hammer. It's got a different thumb piece. I don't know if it came either way or they changed it out. It's got the uh, standard combat. See how it's a little bit wider? That's the combat. There's three sizes. And they did a really good job on this Cerakote. Really smooth. Real smooth. Closes real nice. Super tight lockup. Great Smith and Wesson action. Oh my god, can't even see it. Can't even see it move. Stage is like a dream. These grips really feel good. Those are uh, fish scales, G10s, Smith and Wesson. Kind of heavy. I feel really good. This gun will handle the plus piece with no problem and it'll absorb that recoil really nice. So this is a 15-7. That's a pre-15. They're both Model 15s, 38 Specials. And this back here is a Model 64-3 that has been Cerakoted. This is a stainless steel revolver cousin to the Model 10, which was blue. And they did a good job on this too. Man, look at that. They did a real nice job on this. Stainless steel revolver that has been Cerakoted, but they didn't Cerakote the hammer or the trigger or the, or the thumb release or the ejection rod. Standard hammer. I put these humongous target grips on here. Kind of big, but man, they sure fill out your hand. 
These are better for like a 357. I might get some something smaller to put on here. They do look good. Well, 64-3 that has been Cerakoted, a stainless steel revolver. Who would have thunk it? But uh, a lot of companies do that with the semi-automatics. And then this, whoever did this, did a really nice job. They, uh, they left the screws stainless, which really gives it a nice touch. It's really good. It's hard. Actually, it's really heavy. Very heavy trigger pull. Smooth and a single action. It's like the hammer falls before the trigger moves. <laughs> Steak is so nice. And nice. And your action is the best. The best. Are called gutter sights. Very small front sight. Has no sights to speak of. Just very basic gutter sight. Model 15 has got some nice adjustable rear sights, a fixed front sight, nice tall sight. Case hardened hammer, pre-model 15, groove trigger. One, two, three, four, five screws. The pre-model 15 was five screws. One, two, three, four, five. Very desirable. The hammer is so light on this one compared to the 64. You just barely touch it. Very light hammer. And it's got a target hammer. It's wide. Standard trigger. Target hammer. Very easy to pull back. We have all three size hammers here. This is the standard. This is the uh, combat. And this is the target. Standard is the same width as the hammer. And the combat hammer is a little bit wider and then the target hammer is very wide. Pre-model 15 on the left, 15-7 in the middle and 64-3 on the right. basically a model 10 what we have here but better because there it you never have rust. the old and the new model 15 model pre-15 
a model 64 just for good. Maybe measure. I'll swap out the screws too. I think that's a good idea. Paint the front. Nice paint the front on these. On black guns, I'll paint it white. On stainless guns, I'll paint it orange. Don't ask me why. Well, thanks for watching. Take care of your guns and they'll take care of you.